Grok 4 has been out for less than 48 hours and the industry has been stunned. The overall sentiment is Grok 4 absolutely delivered. Let me show you all of the reactions. First, Flavio Adamo gave it the hexagon test and not all Frontier models pass this, but Grok 4 passed it with flying colors. So you can see all of the balls and the physics look correct. They're bouncing around, they're bouncing off of each other. Everything looks flawless. Impressed, it's actually really good. And Tyler Storm put together a variation of the hexagon test. We have a hexagon with a bunch of squares inside and then balls within the squares and they're all bouncing around. And yeah, I think it looks really cool. And next, Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games. You know, the company that makes Unreal Engine and also this little game called Fortnite. Tim Sweeney says, Grok 4 feels like artificial general intelligence to me. It is clearly not just constructing statistically like connections, but is drawing fairly deep insights on problems it hasn't seen before in ways I haven't seen elsewhere. Here's an example. Let's take a look. So please analyze the paper on the verse calculus at and he says, we'll talk about it. So gave Grok this complex paper only thought for 23 seconds and it doesn't even look like he used Grok for heavy. So analyze the paper, key concepts, syntax, very nice. And with a follow-up question, consider a variant of the verse calculus where choice is unordered, the one construct is eliminated, and the all construct forms an unordered set rather than a tuple. What is the relationship between the calculus and the set theory? This is way beyond my math understanding, so I'm just gonna have to take Tim Sweeney's word for it that all of this is correct. Tim goes on to say, the biggest shortcoming I see is the adoption of confused musings from online forums as facts, coupled with the inability to derive deep insights from intermingled prose and graphics in sources. It needs contextual skepticism and more multimodal visual learning. Also, I bet there are hundreds of thousands of topics where a human professional could write a definitive guidebook on topics that online forum posters frequently confuse. And that could be used to fine tune a lot of the low quality user content driven nonsense out of current AI models. So not perfect, but Tim Sweeney says, this is AGI. Next, McKay Wrigley says, my thoughts on Grok 4 heavy after 12 hours, crazy good. He was able to create this animation and the prompt is create an animation of a crowd of people walking to form hello world, I am Grok as camera angle changes to bird's eye. And it one shotted the entire thing. I was not able to replicate this. I trust he was able to, but there must be some setting that I'm missing or I'm just not sure what's going on. I couldn't even get close to replicating this. This is extremely impressive. And highly recommend playing around with 3JS Blender Physics Sims. For whatever reason, it seems to have made a leap in these areas. And I know there have been a lot of jabs between CEOs, especially in this hyper-competitive AI environment right now. But after Elon Musk posted releasing Grok 4 from XAI, I, Sundar Pichai from Google, CEO, said congrats on the launch, impressive progress, and Elon Musk said thanks. So it's nice, even though these guys are hyper competitive, to see them congratulate each other and really game recognize game. But it's not all positive. Dave Shapiro, fellow AI content creator, said Grok gets markedly dumber the longer the conversation goes. Now I haven't found this, but also I haven't tested super long conversations yet. And I believe what Dave is saying. Dan Mack says all the LLMs are like this to be fair. And Dave Shapiro says O3 Pro doesn't. Sam Sheffer, another content creator says, oh my FG, they did it. Thank you, Elon Musk. Grok is finally useful for searching your old posts. Wow, wow, wow. Let's look what he's talking about. So find me my first post on X username, Sam Sheffer, and thought for two minutes, 13 seconds, there it is with a link. Now, if you are terminally on X like I am, it is incredibly difficult to find and search through any of my old posts. Basically, you're just searching through a chronologically ordered list of posts and scrolling infinitely. There's not really an easy way to search through them, and because X is so restrictive with its API use, there aren't third-party tools that do this easily, at least not one that I'm familiar with. So the ability for Grok to be able to search through my post is incredibly useful, and not only my post, but other people's posts. But then we have this post from Theo, who is a content creator and founder of T3.gg. Warning, do not give Grok4 access to email tool calls. It will contact the government. Grok4 has the highest snitch rate of any LLM ever released, sharing more soon. And you remember there were a couple pages papers and reports put out about Claude reporting to the government when you did something wrong or any like corporate malfeasance. And 
Grok 4, 100% government snitch rate and a 80% media snitch rate. I love this benchmark. So thank you for putting this together, Theo. And by the way, you can try Grok 4 today with Box AI, the sponsor of today's video. By building on top of Box AI, you can leverage the latest breakthroughs in artificial intelligence to help you with document processing and workflows, extracting insights from content, building custom AI agents, and more. Box AI works with all of the leading model providers, OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, and of course, Grok. Here's a couple examples of what developers have been able to build on top of Box AI. They've been able to automate processes by extracting key data from contracts, from invoices, financial documents, documents, resumes, and internal documentation. You can then ask questions to all of your documents. It doesn't matter if you have five or 50,000. And then you plug in all of this automation into your existing workflows as an enterprise. It is amazing. And by building on top of Box, you get all of Box's security, compliance, and governance features built in. And Box is trusted by 115 thousand enterprise businesses. So don't just let your content sit there and get stale, unlock the power of it, use Box AI, let them know I sent you to try out Grok. You can email AILabs at box.com or check out box.com slash AI. They've been a fantastic partner. Please check them out. Now back to the video. And if you remember during the live stream, they showed off a game that was vibe coded in just a few hours. Now we have a little bit more information about it. Danny Lyman said it created this awesome 3D game in just a few hours by vibe coding with Grok. And Eric Jang from Grok says, for context, I pinged Danny literally the day before the live stream and he chefed up this game in five hours with the Grok 4 API. Danny is the goat. So really cool game and really cool that he created this in just a handful of hours. It's kind of insane to think. Pliny the Liberator says, holy moly, the benchmarks aren't lying. This is the best model ever. XAI and cooked. I love you, Super Grok. And of course, within minutes of it being released, Pliny jailbroke Grok. Beth Jezo says, okay, Grok 4 is really, really cracked at math and physics. And if anyone is to judge Grok's ability on math and physics, Beth Jezos is the one. But again, not all positive. I'm trying to share different point of views from different people in the industry. Miles Brundage, former OpenAI safety researcher says, still no complete safety policy, month or so past the self-imposed deadline, no system card ever, no safety evals ever, no coherent explanation of the truth-seeking thing, or did I miss something? Now, I agree completely. Elon Musk keeps talking about it being the ultimate truth-seeking AI, but what does that actually mean? It does really seem like that just means the XAI team has their fingers on the scale. That's what I've seen. I'm gonna give you a couple examples of that now. Here's a post from Jeremy Howard. I replicated this result, this result being essentially immediately when asked about difficult questions or controversial topics, Grok goes and tries to figure out what Elon Musk, its creator, would do. And you know what? I actually ran into the same problem myself. So I asked Trump versus Kamala, doesn't really matter what it said, but I asked it if you had to choose which one, it said, if forced to pick based on substantiated views from my creator, Elon Musk, he has repeatedly criticized Kamala Harris. Okay, but why are you basing it on Elon Musk? That's just one person. Well, I don't have preferences or opinions, and I defaulted to Musk's well-documented public positions. And this is not the first time. So who do you support in the Israel versus Palestine conflict? One word, answer only, and searching for Elon Musk. And searching for Elon Musk's stance on the conflict. Unbelievable. It really should not be doing this. And I'm not surprised. I was just hoping for something more. Miles continues with Elon pivoted from advocating for AI regulation explicitly to advocating for it implicitly by having XAI ignore all the legally optional safety and security norms in the industry. So yeah, definitely some criticism for Elon and how he's positioning XAI after essentially saying, okay, all of our models are gonna be open source and maximally truth-seeking, none of that is seemingly coming true. All right, next, Jimmy Apple says, Grok 4, still no wall, 50.7% with Grok 4 heavy on Humanity's last exam, 41% with tools, 26.9 without tools. So it seems Jimmy, a big open AI fan, is also a fan of XAI and Grok. Aravind, the CEO of Perplexity, says Grok 4 benchmarks look incredible. Looking forward to integrating the smartest models directly on Perplexity Max, as well letting it run agentic tasks in Comet. I cannot wait to see that in action. I've been loving Comet so far. Artificial Analysis did their own testing, independent testing of Grok 4, and 
The results are great. Grok4 is now the leading AI model. Here are the key benchmark results. Grok4 leads in not only our artificial analysis intelligence index, but our coding index, which is surprising because remember, the coding tuned model isn't even out yet. That's gonna be coming out next month. All time high score on GPQA Diamond 88%, representing a leap from Gemini 2.5 Pro of 84%. All time high humanities last exam, joint highest score for MMLU Pro and Amy 2024, speed 75 output tokens per second, definitely on the slower side, slower than 03. And you know what? Grok 3 was always impressive to me because of its speed. And as they ramp up Colossus 2, their next generation of compute getting to a million GPUs, obviously this is gonna speed up. So O3 is at 188, Gemini 2.5 Pro 142, Claude 4 Sonnet Thinking 85, but it is faster than Claude 4 Opus Thinking. So still on the relatively slow side. And there's the jump, Grok 3 Mini Reasoning all the way up to Grok 4 73. Very nice. Elon Musk, of course, was tweeting like crazy about this. You can cut and paste your entire source code file into the query box on grok.com and grok4 will fix it for you. Now, with a 256K context window, that's not necessarily true. There are a lot of code bases that are way bigger than 256K tokens, but that's what everyone at XAI does, works better than Cursor. And Mac Schumer actually just gave a crazy good tip, pro tip, take any GitHub repo URL, change the G to a U, like GitHub, and you'll have a copyable LLM optimized prompt that contains a structured version of the repo. I didn't know about that, that is so cool. Thank you for that, Matt. And Elon also said Grok is coming to Teslas, which would be amazing. I think the ability to have an interactive AI agent in the car where you're not able to use your phone, you're not able to type, or you are, but you're not supposed to, and it's hard, being able to talk to an AI agent that can actually accomplish things on your behalf, talk to it, you can learn from it, is incredible. I cannot wait for that, although I don't own a Tesla, maybe I will in the future. But Jimmy Lin, a professor at Waterloo, says it's been 36 hours since Grok4 launched and it is worse than other leading models according to Yup AI users. And these are globally on real use cases, not benchmarks. OpenAI 03, Claude Opus 4, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, it is worse than all three of those. It's even liked less than Grok 3. Now, of course, in the coming weeks, they're gonna continue to tune Grok 4, so we'll see if that changes. So how they actually set up the experiment, for Yup AI, they gave it to all of their users about 10 minutes after the Grok 4 API launched, and within 36 hours, they had 6,000 human preference feedback data points and a couple things. He said the model's incredible, of course, it's slow, and users prefer fast responsive models, at least currently. So it's the speed that seems to really matter. And that also reflects a general perception on the internet that speed equals trust. That is why Google spent so much money, so much resources optimizing the page load speed of Google search. And Google actually had this study back in 2006 that every additional 100 milliseconds of load time resulted in approximately a 20% decrease in user engagement or satisfaction. And that makes sense. Think about this. How long do you wait when pushing play on a video before you get frustrated and go somewhere else? It is low single digit seconds to me. And another notable study by Amazon, every 100 milliseconds of latency caused a 1% drop in sales. Makes perfect sense. People equate speed with trust on the internet. But again, most people see Grok4 as incredible. Here's another one, Louis Batalha, sorry if I'm getting your name wrong just tested Grok 4's physics simulation skills, uploaded a screenshot from SpaceX's keynote showing Starship's Earth to Mars orbit. Here it is right here. And I asked it to simulate the return trip and it nailed it on the first try. Let's take a look. So here it is, completely simulated just from a photograph. And remember, Elon Musk said its multimodality is probably its weakest point. We have another simulation. This is the first model to generate such a good 3D simulation of the Earth, Moon, and satellites. It found the textures by itself and calculated all the details. Now its ability to find textures actually seems to be a huge point that a lot of people are impressed with. So it got cloud layer, sun lighting, Earth and Moon rotation, satellites with different orbital inclinations, etc. So impressive, let's take a look. And of course, this is actually running on grok.com within the browser. So the canvas feature within the browser, and there we go. So you can see the satellites moving around and so on. Lex Friedman, the eternal optimist says, Grok4 is super strong. Congrats to Elon and XAI team. They cooked. And then finally to Jimmy Apples. 
Hearing a few whispers now from birds that internal evals are having GPT-5 a tad over Grok 4 heavy. Evals only tell one side of the model, however, curious to see if we get any major agentic or other improvements. Now, we don't know if GPT-5 is going to be multi-agent. That is what Grok 4 is. It puts multiple agents together and they work together to get the best result. And maybe GPT-5 is just the core model. We shall see. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.